are we on? We are on. Can't see a damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> I know, these might have to go bye-bye. This is our cool cat uh, episode. If I had blonde hair, I could put it... You know, it's just blonde people who like to put their hat, the glasses love, up in their I hair. I love doing that. Oh, I thought it was like a, um, a chips thing. Uh, Poncha and John... Yeah, but only one of them was blonde. I know. <laughs> uh, all right. It's not just a blonde thing. I'm going to own it. Uh, welcome to the seventh of eight shows. Oh. Seven of eight. But this is going to be a good one. It's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy hi, Mom. Mother's Day. We're on TV. Just yeah. like, hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. <laughs> um, there's going to be lots of stuff for our moms in this episode. We always start with a you, you, him. We're doing this for the Unitarian, 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 what do they call themselves? They don't say it three times. Unitarian Universalist Church of Ogden. Right. We're familiar with them. Yes. We're, We're doing this for them and, uh, and for everyone. And we've got this hymn all through the night, but... It's a Mother's Day hymn, right? You know, it's a lullaby, so... Yeah. We it's have a special lullaby. Mother's Day treat for you, Mama. Oh, at this part of the show. Oh, goodness. Okay, I am ill she don't prepared. Know. She don't know. Oh, Simon, oh boy. come love your mother. She's not my mother. <laughs> oh, She's my. some lady to me. Wait. Oh, man. Uh, we don't know he how well. She tricked me. I was like. She doesn't oh, know. Oh, man. Um, we don't know how well we framed this. Oh. We didn't frame the screen for Simon to be in the show, so you might just see his belly, but. No, you're going to see where the action happens. He's got his bells, the glockenspiel, and he's going to join us on this hymn, Mama. Oh, my gosh, really? Uh-huh. Oh, my gosh, I was, like, waiting for this to... Here's all you need to know. He's not going to come in loud and proud until after the second verse. He's going to get an instrumental solo. Until then, he's like the guy on the triangle. You might hear him here and there. Okay, this is, this is all exciting. Hey, guys, it's, it's 409 in your hymnal, by the way. Oh, yeah. Psh, psh. <laughs> 409 clears up the uh, coronavirus. Is that right? <laughs> Fake news. All right.
sign. Woo! <laughs> that was a wonderful surprise. Happy oh. Mother's Day, Mama. Thank you. Oh. That was really nice, huh? Eh? All right. Wow. Now get back to the director's booth. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ah, you kicked it off. Yeah, that kicked it right off. All Woo. right. Oh, man. So now, wow, um, now. This look, by the way, this is an homage to our moms. Uh, their heyday, um, we'll talk about this more in, later in the episode, but 1958, 1959, they're graduating high school and they're looking all cool. They're wearing stuff like pedal pushers and... Curling up cigarettes in their sleeves. Right, totally doing that. I've never seen American Graffiti, but I've seen <laughs> the trailers. So we want to honor not only our mothers, but also our. We want to talk a little bit about our grandmothers too. Uh, just, just a quick little genealogical. Yeah. Uh, Matriarchal. Yeah. Like, why can't the family tree go back by the women? By the women? By the women? Oh, it does. Let's bring up baby. a tree. Sai, what do we got here? So These yeah. are our moms. Yeah, our moms and our mom's moms and our dad's moms. And uh, so we're going to go through them just, just quick. Let you. Creamy, you're on the left you side of them. the screen. Who do we got? So uh, this is my dad's mom. This is Wanda. Uh, Wanda Russell, then Graf, then Truman. <laughs> and. Uh, so, yeah, this photo was taken when I was about 20, I would say. Um, and then next we have my mom's mom. Look at that hair. Yeah, yeah. This is Cleora and Huntsman, and she knew how to do her hair. I, I got to bring this look back. So that's mom's mom, and then this is my Aww. mom, and she's snuggling up with Simon right Aww. there in that picture. Joyce. Um, and so, yeah. And she's watching right now. Yeah. Hi, Mom. Great. All right. Uh, I'm on the right side of the screen. Uh, I, I didn't know a lot of my grandparents. Uh, this is Mary Josephine, uh, called her Nana. Um, got some Irish stuff coming through there, big old Irish red cheeks. Uh, I wish I knew her, uh, of course. And then this is the one grandparent I really did gr grow up with, the Gamo, uh, Florence, Auntie Flo, uh, to other people, Gamo to me and the rest of the world. She was awesome. Everyone loves Gamo. She's Sicilian. Um, her dad came over when he was four years old, came in through Ellis Island from, from Sicily. And, uh, man, we all love Gamo. Uh, and then, of course, my own mom, who's Gamo's daughter, um, there she is, and my brother Pete's uh, West Point, uh, not graduation, it was where's becoming, uh, he became a, I forget which rank, but he was like a lieutenant, uh, lieutenant colonel or something like that. It was a big, big deal. Um, we all went out for that, and there's my sweet mom, and I hope she's watching. Hi, Mom! Yeah. All right. Woohoo! Uh, we have a guest. We always, yes. we like to have a guest. This is the time when we, yeah, we're going to switch switch it on over a little bit. Um, Our guest got the memo about the sunglasses. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, they inspired us. So <laughs> <laughs> we'll, give it, we'll give it up to them. This is my sister Darla and her son Jacob and uh, uh, sort of talking about how they're feeling during this quarantine. Stuck, stuck, stuck. Take it away. <laughs> Here I am stuck in the middle with you. Well, you started out with nothing, and you're probably true. So 
Now, first, a big shout out to Jake on the guitar. He started learning guitar just a, maybe a year ago? Less. Yeah. Nine months or something. Yeah. Unbelievable. I saw yeah. him over the holidays, Christmas or something, and that's not what I saw. It was really that early guitar fumbling, I can't make a chord kind of stuff. And woo, Jake, my man, you got it. Yeah. Yeah, he's rocking it out. Yeah. Hey, so you might have noticed some famous mothers uh, on the screen behind us. This is uh, an another portion, another uh, mother. What Mother's Day would be complete without a string of yo mama jokes? Mm -hmm. Right? Am I right? And so uh, for this portion, since... We want to make it clear that none of these jokes are meant about either of our mothers, and certainly not about Simon's mother. Everyone knows about these, right? Yo mama jokes. They're insu yeah. insult jokes. They insult have to be. Insult humor, yes. It's the point of them, but they're not personal. Not personal. So we're giving you some mothers to uh, watch here, and and so you can... We're, we're telling the jokes about them or something. <laughs> Keep it Such as. less personal. Such as. Okay, we're going to get started. Creamy! Your mama's so vain. I know it sounds like I'm talking about your mother, but again, okay. just okay. detach. Creamy! Your mama's so vain. Remember that time she wanted those big, full, sexy lips? You know what she did? She flushed her face down an airplane toilet so that the suction would fill them up. The only problem is no one noticed. <laughs> I guess we all got used to your mama's potty mouth. <laughs> uh, we wrote all these. Yeah, by so the way. So they're not good, that's probably why. Okay, yo, yo mama is so annoying that all the gnats in town signed a petition declaring her a public nuisance. <laughs> Wait, I think I can hear our audience. <laughs> Yo mama is so ugly, her plastic surgeon gave her the silent treatment. <laughs> the silent treatment? Didn't want to have anything to do with her. <laughs> oh yeah, but your mama is so thin, skinny jeans wear her on a Friday night. <laughs> Yo mama is so aloof. Oh, yeah? This is one of those standard schoolyard uh, digs. Right. Your mama is so aloof. When the census man came round, she didn't answer the door. Instead, she sat on the couch and ate a whole cheesecake all by herself. Because she's also pretty fat. Roses are red, violets are blue. Your mama's so poor, the church mouse said, ew. Creamy, <laughs> 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 your mama has no sense of humor. One time, she dated Bob Hope. He came around to pick her up, came to the door wearing one of those fez caps. And she was like, oh, brother, you kidding me? But she, she just said that to, she kind of kept it to herself. She wanted to be a good sport. As he's walking her down the walk to get to the car, he goes to hold her by the hand. She reaches down and she notices he's got a joy buzzer. He's like, ah, oh, brother, are you kidding me? So then they get to the car and Bob Hope opens the door for her, this big Cadillac. She's going to get in. She notices in the back seat a rubber chicken. So she immediately jumps out of the car, takes off in the other direction, and shouts back at him, A rubber pecker? On the first date? I don't think so, mister! Oh, <laughs> oh yeah? <laughs> oh, 
sorry. Uh, roses are red. This is another okay. poem. Roses are red, violets are blue. Your mama's so ruthless, she climbed the corporate ladder just for the view. <laughs> are you doing <laughs> Okay. Yo mama is so loose. Her favorite animal at the zoo is the two hump camel. Oh. <laughs> okay, one more poem. <laughs> Violets are blue, roses are red. Yo mama's so childish, her neighbor is Fred Rogers. <laughs> Oh, man, this is, this is getting All right. out of hand. Yo mama is so rude. She never sends anyone any thank you notes. Instead, she sends what she calls stank you notes. They're like thank you notes, but they've got a little scratch and sniff section with her dried up farts. Oh, my God. such a lush, folks are having her spit on their hands in lieu of san hand sanitizer. Okay. Yo mama is so superstitious. She throws so much salt over her shoulder that her butt sweat tastes like the blood of a hypertensive sailor. <laughs> I wrote that one. Yeah. You did. <laughs> okay, I'm almost out of them. Uh, thank goodness. Oh, Yo mama is so loud at Thanksgiving, she has an air horn of plenty. <laughs> air horn. Oh, <laughs> hey, bikini season's coming up. Please don't tell your mom. <laughs> is that the joke? Okay. Well, because she must not be very uh, afraid of the diabetes, the way she eats. Maybe she's afraid of some things, I don't know. But what I do know is she'll never be called a gutless wonder. She's so fat. <laughs> okay, this is my last one. Okay. <laughs> Yo mama's so famous, she makes her own barbecue and cookies. Ah, uh, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> famous, famous. Yeah. Anyway. All right, I got one more. <laughs> oh, God, this one. I should have quit while I was behind, because this one's horrible. Uh, you can skip it. No, I wrote it. Uh, these are the best ones, by the way. We threw away as many. Uh, this is the cream of the crop, including okay. this. Yo mama is so cold. One time I licked her leg, and my tongue got stuck to all her leg hair. And so I'm sitting there, stuck, freezing, and tangled up. For such a long time. <laughs> and then I see a St. Bernard come into my rescue. Until I realize that's just her other leg. <laughs> and he me. I did not lick that leg. And that's when your mama kicked me out of bed. I was broken hearted, but free. Ooh. Awesome note. All right. Ooh. Now. <laughs> okay, we are... <laughs> We're gonna leave this behind us. Um, and, and yes. All right. We, now we're gonna just close out with a couple of tunes for our moms. <laughs> oh, that's right. Let's go back to the 50s. Uh, let's see. Let's just make some room. We're gonna go to a different place in the, in the room here today. Let's see if we can scoot over to the piano. Oh, and I'm debuting. Uh, my performance on the bass, Maggie. Oh, look at that. Creamy on the electric bass. You inspired me. All right. Most of those jokes, to be honest, were for Tim. Uh, I've got a long history of writing really bad jokes. I don't have any plans of stopping soon. Thanks for uh, putting up with that. And again, happy Mother's Day. <coughs> None of those were about real people. Okay, the camera is not on. Let's see. 
<clears throat> what do you need? Oh, is she so tall? Yo mama is so tall. Can Her favorite drink is a highball. Like that, mama? That's good. Um, yeah, and I can stand here. Stand so close to me. Okay. All right. You got some volume back there? Uh, Crank it. for your mom yeah who doesn't love the Everly brothers oh my god my mom once bought a new pair of shoes <laughs> so here is to Betty Lou Well, she's walking down the street with a brand new kid, Betty Lou. She got a new pair of shoes, a Betty Lou. Ah, ooh, ah, ooh. Ah, ooh, ah, ooh. Ah, ooh. Betty Lou's got a new pair of shoes.
the street. She met an undertaker. He tried to bury Betty in her new shoe. on your brain fog. <coughs> Allergies, am I right? Who's Allergies. been dying? Yeah. Woo. Well, uh, we we want to we Love wanna you, thank you all. And I'm going to turn that down so we got no more feedback. And, and we want to um, just give a couple more shouts outs from the mailbag. Shout out to women's undergarments. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> I said last week that I'm always wearing a piece of women's clothing. It's like gig wear. It gives me some spunk. Yeah. Can't see one tonight. Wonder why. Because they're my sunglasses. That's why. Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, we got a we got a nice letter today, and I didn't ask permission to share this. I hope it's all right. Uh, uh, Justina sent us a nice letter today with zero in-person friend visits for two months now. The show has been a breath of friendship and socialization that I'm going to miss. Thank you, Justina. We all still have a long road ahead of us until science and medicine and governmental and personal responsibility eventually dig us out of this. Thank you for generosity, creativity, and giving us something to look forward to every Saturday night. We've been looking forward to it too. That's from Justina Thanks, and Justina. the Bernstein clan. So thank you very much. It's it's we're doing this selfishly for ourselves. Uh, of course, we're having a blast. Way too much fun sometimes, and so it's it's uh, been a labor of love. But we were just talking how lately it's so essential to have receivers out there. And so, thank you, all of you. Uh, uh, every week, I get a, I get a, a note from Sandy from church, and Tracy and Marilyn, and and Carlene and Heidi. We've been talking, and, and a lot of a lot of you are out there uh, every week, and 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 yeah, and Steph and and St Stephen Les, and yeah. It's been, There's it's a big, been really great. big name from our church who's going to join us next week as our special guest. Right. Um, and I'm, I'm not going to say it, but just case in point, uh, the the outreach very valuable and it's, it's very appreciated, and um, and we want and need to see each other. And so, one of our favorite musical folks from the UU Church is going to be on our last show next week. Next week's our last show, and he's going to be our special guest, and uh, everyone is going to love what he's got in store. I got a sneak peek today. Blew my mind. It's some, uh, some of the best music you're going you're gonna to hear. It's a real treat. It's a real treat. It, it, it fills your, when you go to an art gallery and you see something top-notch, world-class, and you're like, oh, man, why don't I go to art galleries more? This feeds my soul. We got something next week that's going to be just like that. And all the guests that we've had all along, it just uh, it it makes us feel like we're not alone in this. So, thanks everybody. Um, do we have any more? To May the fourth be with you. Oh, uh, 
Um, da, 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 little Richard passed away today. That's sad. Sorry to hear about that. I did want to also say um, my Goslin brother Anthony, uh, a drummer and an early in incarnation of the Goslins, uh, founding member. Um, he uh, lost his dad this week, and so we're thinking about you, Anthony. Uh, so sorry about that. Um, but um, one day at a time. That's how yeah. we're living our lives. We'll see you on the flip side. Yeah, take care of each other. Stay safe. Bye. Bye.